Hello and welcome to our YouTube educational channel Career at 360. Uh, today I'm doing a sixth session of my data modeling and data automation and in today's exercise we'll be dealing with how to do a um, automation of a bill of material. Now the problem is this that um, in many uh, companies uh, very regularly we have to do a costing of, of a new item or a project and what happens that we have a standard bill of material available with us but sometimes we have to download the updated purchase orders and whenever we download the purchase order list that contains sometimes thousands of purchase order which has been issued in last six months one year more than one year whatever it is and the problem is that uh, for doing the costing of that uh, bill of material or for that product we have to pick the last uh, sometimes we have to pick the rate of from the last purchase order so that we can issue a updated price to our customers so uh, that takes a lot of time but uh, through this technique i'll show you that how we can in these seven step i've explained you how we can uh, do the automation now before i go to these seven points over here let me show you my solved template over here okay so for example this is my uh, material codes or CSKUs. This is the description of the CSKUs, unit of measurement, the total quantity as per the badge, the rates from the last purchase orders and their product cost. And now what happens is uh, that uh, I have downloaded my bill, of, uh, my bill of material over here. Okay. And then we have downloaded the purchase order over here. And uh, I will tell you step by step through those things. Now, what happens over here? I put our data validation. As we all know, what is the data validation? So, we, what is this? All my CSKs are here. And the moment I change, you can see that there is a change over here. And the bill of materials change. System has picked the rates and everything. And uh, right now, the cost for this badge is seventy-three thousand over here. And now, if I change it to another item, let's say I pick this two hundred and ten. You can see this has changed and that's 74 something has changed to this. So that means this whole uh, bill of material format is picking uh, the items for each uh, SKU from the from, from the bill of material and picking the, the rates. And uh, we all know that uh, one of the problems, so <clears throat> this is about uh, we want to uh, we want to quantities for bill of materials for the last purchase order this is the problem and the problem is that whenever we uh, apply a vlookup formula on the purchase order file it will pick the first purchase order which is available and can pick the the first purchase order but now we want to pick the purchase order from from uh, the last purchase order in the purchase order list and uh, the first challenge over here is uh, that uh, to pick the CSQ because for example there are many common raw materials and some of the packing materials which are available for hundreds of items so how we do know that if there are let's say hundred products and if I change the code of the product my system will go and pick the right uh, item or CSKU with the right quantity so why because let me sh show you this over here uh, before I show you my badge so over here this is a paint company for example and we have uh, almost CSKUs and here we have having four different um, uh, sizes one is half liter of a paint one liter uh, then one gallon and I think five gallons and uh, every size is available in more than 186 colors and these are the colors and this is the quantity we produced per batch so if I take it down over here we have almost 344 different SKUs, the, the, the finished goods which we produce. Now, to handle this 344, we have a bill of material. And this is the file of my bill of material. So initially, this is my product code, which is called SKU. And then this is my CSKU, which is the packaging material or the raw material, their description, a unit of measurement, and the quantity used in for each for each size yeah and uh, every color has its own metal cane labels handles and caps all these things so if I go down here uh, for uh, these uh, 300 and something uh, 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 my products if I see my bill of material which every product has at least 20 items so this list goes to almost 7200 uh, lines and we have a complete detailed bill of material available for all our products and lastly and lastly we have 
the purchase order we have downloaded the purchase order starting from 2016 because some of the item we purchased for two years for three years so i want to pick the last date and we have almost more than 1000 purchase order over here okay so now you have understood that uh, we have uh, the batch quantities we have the bill of material which is a standard uh, quantities to produce the things and we have the purchase orders now comes on to the template now to explain you everything what i'll do i have to delete this thing okay let me delete all this thing so that we can start it from the from the scratch so first of all what i have done here i put a data validation and i put all these codes over here with from the batch file because the batch file contains the all 344 items or skus and i bring these codes from here and their description from here as you can see from here so the moment i change the code the uh, uh the description also get changed okay so let's select the first one which is available here 101 so now everything has changed so what i will do first of all now the biggest problem the, the, the challenge over here uh, which i'll i can show you the first challenge is how to pick the right item of that specific product because again i told you there are many common items here so i want to make sure that a, a, a right item or CSQ to be selected against the bill of material because that uh, CSKU has a right quantity for that item okay because that CSKU which is a raw material or a packing material is coming hundreds of times into my file so every time it comes it has different quantities as per the different sizes of my product so that code is appearing hundreds of time into my bill of material so I want to pick the right code for the right product okay so what i want to do and secondly second uh, second challenge is that once i select the code i want all the materials of this item to be displayed over here so there's a technique what is that uh, technique which i have uh, which i have done here what i have done is that i says is equals to concatenate i say this code because 101 is a unique code and concatenate it with one okay and this is how i have produced a unique code against each item i can copy down over here so now when i copy this unique code has copied everywhere okay now what i have done is if you look into my bill of material because every item has uh, 21 items so what i've done is that this is the most uh, uh, you know uh, time consuming thing which i've done once for my file and that will get that every every for everything let's say 101 is my first item so now there's 21 series over here for 102 as you can see i put again 1 to 21 over here and for 103 i put 1 1 1 to 21 everywhere and even if you go to my last product over here it will also show you that from 1 to 21 why because i want to combine this series with the sku code to bring it a unique uh, thing and uh, once i've done over here i've done the same thing over here that i've joined this item with the csku over here and now the things become easy for me uh, because this that's the only logic i can do so now i can simply apply a vlookup formula over here equals to v lookup bracket start find me this code where into my bill of material file okay and uh, then you start from here two three dollar sign comma three comma zero because i want exact match enter and now i have picked the item for each things and i can copy it over here okay and um, i think please change it to csku because this is a a csku okay and this is also a csku description not the sku description i'm sorry for that and then i can apply another vlookup formula and what is that vlookup formula find again this code because this is a unique code where into the bomb file and one two three and fourth fourth is my description and i want to use my dollar sign before i comma one two three four i think yeah comma zero bracket start bracket in and now with the same color i pick the right item with the right quantity 
and uh, unit of measurement again is the same is equals to v lookup I could start find from this unique code go into the bomb file go at the start two three four five dollar signs comma five comma zero enter and I have selected uh, my things over here and now as far as the batch quantity is concerned again it is available over here into the batch quantity so I want to pick this column I and then I will multiply it with this 2000 because that is for a bomb quantity for each and we produce 2000 quantities per batch so what I will do is equals to we look up bracket start again find this unique code where over here in my bomb file go on to the top two three four five six dollar sign comma six comma zero and then I can enter it over here and then I can go over here into the formula and say and multiply it with this quantity and what I will do I will lock the cells because I want to copy it everywhere and now system will simply copy it everywhere so now what I have done is uh, let's see let's take an example so now if I change my code to 107 I can see that if it is a baby blue all the baby blue items are selected over here and we will the, we will check when we put the uh, X lookup over here to, to, uh, to see the quantities of each we ver verify at the end so now if I come on to my uh, first sheet where what we have done we have find out that uh, uh, to, uh, the problem is to pick the last code uh, then we have uh, 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 we have to pick the things so we I think we have done the fourth step we, uh, we have done till fourth step where we have used a unique uh, cell concatenate and a VLOOKUP to, to solve the first problem which is the which is number two so first problem which is number two has been solved and which says that uh, we have to uh, select the right CSKU for each right SKU now let's come on to our third problem this second problem where I have to pick the purchase order rate of the last purchase order and now we will do this through a step number five and what is that I will go over here into my first file and I say is equals to X lookup bracket start X lookup this item which has I purchased pair so what is the lookup array as per X formula look go into a purchase order files and the 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 items are over here sorry over here in column E and I will say from first till last select column E dollar sign comma and if return in return what is the array array is this unit price so I will select from here to here dollar sign and then I say comma comma minus one um, in my previous uh, uh, recordings of, of if you go into the Excel file minus one means that start from the from the bottom otherwise the uh, zero is by default I don't have to do anything if I want to pick the first one so I can use uh, a comma I can close it over here so closing it here and enter means that picked from the from the first one but because I want to pick the last so I will put two commas and say minus one bracket close and say enter and as you can see that system has selected the rate and I can copy this thing everywhere and now what what I have done is that there is around uh, how many items there are 344 different items in the badge with thousands of uh, 7000 rows of a bill of material with more than 1000 of the purchase orders and everything get connected with my template and now if I change 107 to another code let's say I want to change it to uh, let's say 215 and as we can see that brown has changed everything is brown and the quantities have been changed now let's see some of the so let's say verify some of the things so let's say the code is R500109 so I will select this thing and say copy and go into uh, my PO file 
and we'll put our filter on on this item and say control V and say enter and say home so the last purchase order as per this item has a rate of 3.48 and now if I go over here uh, for the item 500-109 it says 3.48 and when this 3.48 has changed let me highlight it for, for you to easily look into this when this 3.48 has changed it has changed two months ago because till February we were buying at 344 and now in the month of March we have start we have, the price has increased and from 344 it has gone to 348 so now if it is working for uh, for one or uh, one formula I, I uh, we know we all know that it can work for every formula but again uh, for your uh, for your size we'll be click a and the code which is called a carbon black and the number let's copy this um, number of a carbon black from here and go into my purchase order file and uh, select all and then go over here again one more time and copy that carbon black code and say okay and carbon black last number is 4.24 and in our template it is 4.24 and when this code has changed again a few months ago or uh, 4.24 i think yeah it is changed lastly in 2018 since 2018 we are buying it at the same rate so whatever is this uh, system has changed for example just for an example if i change it to five here just to show you the proof so if i put a five manually over here and i go into my template you can see whatever is the last date system has picked the last date from from our file okay so now if i go into my into my info basically what we have done previously we used to download the purchase order file and then spend some minutes or hours depending on the volume of it to find the last purchase order to fill in our templates but now what we have done is we have used a simple different techniques to bring in this and now i know that next time what i have to do i only have to uh, upload my purchase order files over here because normally bills of files never change or they normally change once in a year so i only have to update my purchase order files and rest i can do it in just few minutes so we what we have done is we have saved almost 80 to 90 percent of our processing time uh, through this automation techniques and uh, we have bring in more uh, uh, accuracy through here and next time what you have to do only have to update up, update the purchase order and the things will be running for you and you can apply this concept of uh, we look up with concatenate, concatenate and 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 an x lookup and many of other reports okay and um, i hope that uh, you have learned something uh, good today and um, you may apply some some of these things into into your uh, into your company if you have liked these things i will request you to uh, give a uh, to subscribe my channel career at 360 uh, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families so that they can also get benefit from these videos stay tuned because i'll be bringing in some more uh, similar stuff for you to uh, uh, to learn all these hand through uh, this hands-on practical training bye